Close your eyes and count to seven. When you wake, you'll be in heaven. <laughs> Welcome to the Buckland Museum of Witchcraft. Our museum was founded by a writer named Raymond Buckland back in the 60s. Ray gets his first Ouija board when he's 12. He was a bit of a superstar in a really small subsect of society as the person that brought the religion of Wicca to America. It's a vintage collection that explores all things metaphysical, so we have artifacts that go to the birth of modern witchcraft in many ways. Truly one of our key pieces is our mandrake root. It's over 200 years old, carved to look like a woman carrying kids. Truly our truest tie to the person at the edge of town, I always say. The one that you go see when you need some help. So this is a verendum, it's a magical staff. Here we have a Ouija board with a local flavor. You'll see it's featuring the guardians. Maybe this is something that the uh, mystic Ouija foretold when we weren't listening. On the day that we opened here in Cleveland, we do our tour booking on our website, bucklandmuseum.org. I have a guest book over here that people sign, and I always love that, you know, people come from states away. We are open seven days a week at this point. Come stop for a spell. Hello. Welcome to the Buckland Museum of Witchcraft and Magic. I'm going to give you all a brief intro to the collection. Even if you've been here before, you're going to see something new. What would a witch museum be without a working altar? So our number one selling book is of course our founder, Raymond Buckland's uh, complete book of witchcraft. See the green notebook here? Behold, the original handwritten manuscript. I always love sharing this. I always wonder if Buckland knew, right? He's driving home from Kmart. Here I see the humble origins of profound things. We sell a lot of souvenirs for our guests. A lot of people come here and they want to leave with a beautiful wand or a palmistry hand or even one of our scrying mirrors. Not just for the Harry Potter kids, you could be a muggle as well and come enjoy the uh, place. It pretty much is, if you have an open mind, you can come here and have a good time. I believe we are a hidden gem because, well, we deal with all things occult, and occult means hidden. People say things like, I've never heard of you before. Well, how often do you go out seeking a witchcraft museum? I have a feeling that Ray looks upon us occasionally and checks in and likes what he's seeing. Uh, you can find us on all the social media. We're pretty easy to find. We're the Witchcraft Museum here yeah. in Cleveland. Uh, Bucklandmuseum.org. 2155 Broadview Road in the old Brooklyn neighborhood, down the street from the zoo. So the museum was founded by Raymond Buckland in 1966. He had visited a gentleman named Daryl Gardner and in England, and Daryl Gardner is kind of considered the uh, kind of the father of contemporary what's known as Wicca. So Daryl Gardner had a collection of witchcraft items, um, and that really like kind of put a spark inside of Ray's head where like, hey, I could do this. He was working for British Airlines at the time, so he could travel the world and pick up unique items. Well, it's the uh, Buckland Gallery of Witchcraft and Magic. So essentially what the collection consists of is artifacts from kind of the beginning of um, the Wiccan religion and kind of going through like the occult explosion of the 1960s and 70s to some pieces that are contemporary to today.
day to weed them bell Give me the power I beg of you. Mortis melodivacor de mervo se. Andre ponte guase dem Awake! Awake!